Hello, I'm Dr. Winteregg, and for today's tip of the week, I want to talk about why it's important to not make your patients wait. First of all, let me ask you a question. Do you like waiting? Probably not. When I'm waiting, I get annoyed. Waiting in line at the bank, waiting in line to get in to an airplane. I mean, it's like, I'm not very happy when I have to wait, at least beyond the time that the procedure was scheduled. So let's stand back and take a look what we do when we make patients wait. We're going to annoy them. Now, we can take a look at different areas of the practice where the patients are going to wait. You put them on hold with a phone call. You can go online. You can find studies. A certain percentage will hang up after 30 seconds of hold. Another percentage will hang up after 45 seconds, 60 seconds. Forget the studies. Let's have a standard. Patients don't wait. It's actually part of good customer service. So you have three lines and one person answering the phone. People are going to be waiting. So what you need to do then to solve that is have someone else as a backup to answer the phone. There are ways to figure this out. You're a smart person. Figure it out. Have a staff meeting. Another way that patients can wait is they're waiting to be seated in the chair in the back. You say, well, our patients only have to wait about 20 minutes. Our patients only have to wait 30 minutes. Or the last time I went to the medical doctor, I waited an hour. Uh, let's not use that as the standard. In dentistry, we strive for perfection. In my practice, I didn't want anyone to wait. So if they were scheduled for 8 o'clock, I wanted them seated at 8 o'clock. If it was 10 after 8 and they weren't seated, we were behind. That was our view. And as a group, as a unit, as a staff team, we tried to never seat the patient late. Now, we always strive for perfection in dentistry, and if we're striving for perfection and you're off by 1% or 2% of the time, you're going to be better than anyone else in the area. Finally, I want to just take a look at how long does the patient have to wait after the crown is prepped to have the crown seated? Two weeks, three weeks, four weeks? Well, I just made a deal with my lab. I want my crown back in 7 to 10 days. That's it, just 7 to 10 days. He actually made an arrangement where he sent one of his staff to my office to pick up twice a week because it was faster than UPS waiting a day. That was his solution, not mine, but I demanded that we not wait. So what I want you to do as an exercise, you and the staff, is look around the office and look at where and when patients wait and figure out how you can have them not wait. And then let's strive for perfection in this area. You will become known as the office where I don't have to wait at my dentist. That's the reputation I want you to have. And that's my tip of the week.